Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video back on the timber frame extension build and today we are going to try and get this roof ready for boarding up. Also, we're going to try as well if we can in time, get the start getting the side walls sheathed up as well. So hopefully we can get that far today as well. Uh, I'm going to run through a couple of things and explain a couple of things um, before the guys get in what I'm going to be doing and why. Um, just a sort of a little bit more detail in um, what we're doing and why we're doing it. Hopefully it'll make some sense. So first thing I want to shout out is um, one of my eyes on YouTube who pointed out that I should double up this rafter here or this joist here and that one as well. Um, yes, so I agree with that and I'm going to be doing that today. So all I've got to do is just knock this noggin out and I'm going to put another a raft on the double side here and same thing on that side just like I did with the doors here. Um, it's always good to step back and look at your work and uh, you catch out certain things that you can do right. So I'm going to do that as one of the first jobs this morning. Yes, yeah, so a couple of things, you've got to put some more uh, joist hangers in. We need, to, we need to we we ran out so i've got some more i'm gonna put some more joy hangers in we've got to do this section of the roof here um also i'm going to be putting the furrings in today and cross battening so i'm going to be showing you and explaining how the ventilation is going to work on this roof um so this timber on the side at the moment it's got to move it's going to move and there's going to be a 50 mil gap here so we're going to take it out and put a 50 mil batten in between that joist and that that rafter there it'll make sense when i'm doing it and i'm also going to put some venting as well there's going to be some sort of grill vent in there so again i'll show you that um and uh, basically the ventilation is going to cross ventilation is going to go from this side of the roof across to the other side of the roof okay so that's mainly where the ventilation is going to be sort of flowing um the source can flow through there as well Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you guys quickly is up. This is up where the wall plate is that's attached to the house. So if we look in here, we can actually see that there's a steel beam here. So this is the original steel beam of the house. So the reason why this steel beam is here is this wall here is hollow underneath. Um, so if you look along here, it runs along the floor, under the floor inside that bedroom. All the way across and it supports this wall here um, because the front wall if you guys remember sticks out further so there's sort of this bay uh, the bay window here um, so this part of the bay window here is sitting on the the wall all the way down to the wall and this wall here that's set back sitting on that steel so we will be replacing the steel that comes along here and we're also going to be taking out an internal wall between the kitchen and dining room and then we're going to be connecting another steel all the way back which will sit on the front living room wall so it's going to be a bigger steel here and it's going to be shaped like a t um, which we'll be doing later so that will support that will then support this wall here which is supporting the roof we're also going to be putting another steel in which is going to be under the bed to basically support the bay window so there's going to be another steel that's going to be sitting above where this wall is here now um, it's going to be sitting from that end of the wall all the way to that corner of the wall there uh, i'll just get down and i'll be able to show you that a bit better so basically essentially the steel will be sitting on this column here and it will run across to that column there and it will be supporting that part of the bay window and there'll be some intersection pieces between the two steels as well <coughs> and then once that steel is in here then we can basically knock this wall down and take this whole thing out um, there's a kitchen here now this is the living room here and then the whole thing will be opened out as one living space
right guys so this is what we're looking at like now we've got our furrings in as you can see pretty most of them really we've done that little section there as well so all i've got to do is the ladder at the back here and the last raft on either end um, but we've also now got to put the cross pattern in it so we're going to start with that start the cross pattern in and then i'll sort out these sides from the from access from the other sides also the guys have been putting in the uh, plywoods and stuff or the osp on the walls that's 11 mil on the outside we're also going to line the inside with 11 mil after we have put the insulation and the insulation has been inspected and stuff like that um but yeah this is what it's looking like so it's looking real good i'm gonna get these in now But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess the ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the noon Rewind, take it out of cue And this is gonna be a young man's game Stand up for the fall of shame I wish I knew How much I miss Alright guys, so this is what the roof is looking like so far. Almost finished, um, but this is where we're going to stop today. Just a few more bits to do and then we can cut out where the window is. And then I need to just line around it and do a couple of few other bits before we can get the window in. But yeah, it's looking good, as you guys can see. The guys have also covered up the breathable membrane, so I'm sort of locked in. I'm going to have to cut it to get out. Um, but they've done that back wall there and this wall here, so I'll show you that in a minute. And then um, <clears throat> we need to move the neighbor's fence out, which we've got permission to. And then we'll be in that side there uh, another time. Hi everyone, we are done for today. Good productive day today. We've got a lot done actually. Um, uh, I'm gonna quickly just run through what we did. Right guys, so this is what it's looking like at the moment, as you guys can see. The guys have covered up and wrapped this side with the membrane and they've taken it all the way around to here as well so you can see the air up to here it's just that little corner up there to do which i'll do when i come back i'll chop these off as well 
So let's have a look from the inside, what we did today. So basically we doubled up that rafter there, as you guys can see, we've done that. Um, put the rest of the uh, rafters in. Um, so I sorted out that bit. We had to take out the tiles on that roof there and uh, uh, bolt that uh, wall, wall plate to the wall there. Then I'll put the rafters in. Put all the furrings in as well. You can see all the furrings, they're all in. Uh, and then I've cross battened it as well. So this again, you can see where the window is going to be. Just need to chop these bits off. Um, almost finished the cross battening, just a few more bits. I think I might need one more length. Um, we've got a couple of pieces, but I'll do that next time. Um, once that's done, we can get fascia boards on and stuff like that. And then we're ready for the uh, the window and and OSB. And then we're gonna um, GRP fiberglass this. So that's basically it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully maybe you learned something as well. Let us know what you think of today's progress. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.